Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac. We are trying to do Lost Streaks. Again, my internal goal is 10. 4ME70L3P. This feels like a very familiar seed. Uh, last run, we were incredibly stacked. Yeah, that's a good start. If we can get a fraction of the stacking that we got last time, uh, I would I would be in love with this run's chances from the get-go. As you might expect, probably the earliest floors are going to be the toughest for us here if we get that kind of curve that we want. So, Cricket's body is actually a really, really good pickup. The tiers upgrade uh, and the, the shots that show up after it and the potential synergies with uh, tier effects and stuff like that more than make up for the risk of having lower range. One makes you larger. People have been telling me that apparently one makes you larger actually has no effect directly on your hitbox. One makes you smaller gives you a smaller hitbox, but one makes you larger apparently uh, is just cosmetic, which would actually be awesome if that were the case. And and I'm inclined to agree the people or uh, believe the people that are telling me that because at this point, you know, if you're still playing the Binding of Isaac, I have to assume that you know more than I do. <laughs> Maybe it, I think there's a case to be made that I've played more than than most people. I just wanted to check and see if maybe there was a shop, which would mean that that other room that we found was a library, which would mean I definitely might want to check it out. We got a key for our troubles here anyway, but um, but yeah, most people that are this enthusiastic about the game probably have a little bit more of an encyclopedic knowledge than I do uh, about about what's actually happening behind the scenes on a mechanical level with the uh, you know the item values and parameters. So I'm inclined to believe them on that. In which case, I can stop being mad about getting a one makes you larger pill that honestly uh, may have basically no effect beyond maybe obscuring your hitbox a little bit. And there's a case to be made. I think that uh, obscuring your hitbox can be a little bit of a detriment. But if it's not an objective detriment that actually makes us easier to hit full stop, then I can stop complaining about it. You know, the more things I can stop complaining about, the better my life will be. I think I accidentally just muted my microphone or sound hello no can you can you guys still hear isaac oh there we go i don't know if you could actually you might have muted it on a system level there uh i don't know what happened sometimes my keyboard freak electrical surge mutes all sounds it's very convenient to have that uh, mute all sound button there until it isn't now, Curse of the Blind. Don't be Fire Mind. Don't be Fire Mind. Don't be Fire Mind. It's Doctor's Remote. Actually, really good. And could give us a pretty easy crack at a black market here. We've been looking for these black markets nonstop. I'm telling you for real. If we get a black market, uh, we have such a huge advantage. The five free shop items. Some of them could be horrible, but some of them could be amazing. Uh, the tower, I'm not going to risk it. It's just... It's too risky. We could get hit twice by it, so let's let's not even tempt fate there. What I will do is uh, come in here, drop Temperance. Don't walk into it. That would have been horrible. Use Doctor's Remote, blow it up. We get a Crawl Space. The Crawl Space is a black market. Okay, this is a big moment. Stopwatch would be huge. First item. 9 volt. Decent. Bogo Bombs. Decent. Sharp Plug. Potentially horrible. Charged baby. Okay, so all like battery related items. And a key. Uh, truth be told, this is not the world's greatest shop. It is just a tribute. That being said, uh, it's pretty good. Predominantly like battery focused pickups here, uh, which I'm actually very much in favor of. Because if we can get an item, I mean, first off, Doctor's Remote is pretty decent. But if we can get an item. That actually is uh, even better than Doctor's Remote when it comes to this stuff. That would be awesome. I mean, you just saw some value right there. Essentially, if we use Doctor's Remote, kill all the enemies but one, and then kill the last enemy with tears, we can use Doctor's Remote once per room, which is pretty amazing, actually, now that I think about it. It's like having one epic fetus shot per room thanks to 9 volts. So... I think that I should stop being such a little scaredy pants here. Wait, do we even need... No, we could just kill all enemies with it. Why am I thinking we need to kill all enemies, leave, leave one alive? That's a good question. Okay, thank you for the extra battery charge. This is dangerous. 
Our tears are no slouch either, but we do, I mean, opening a room with one epic fetus shot is really, really good. Potentially, you know, very dangerous for us if we get hit as well, but if we can manage to not hit ourselves, uh, I mean, that makes the rooms a lot easier, certainly. Good. Screw is also a really good pickup, and a free free deal with the devil item. Ceremonial robes is fine. Brimstone is amazing. Book of Sin. It's gonna be hard to suggest that this beats Doctor's Remote. Um, but what I will say is that the Brimstone pickup probably renders basically all of that irrelevant. In fact, I'm just gonna head down to the next floor at this point. Uh, we, we may never use Doctor's Remote again on this run. As good as it is, we kind of have no need for it. Because the Brimstone Synergy is just going to be so strong here. I don't even mean Synergy, really. Oh my god. We have... What? Never mind. We're going to be using Doctor's Remote constantly. <laughs> Does it really do the Sad Bombs effect every single time? Yo, this is beautiful. How did I not... Machine Gun Jubblies, how did I miss those, baby? But seriously, how is this run this powerful to begin with here. I'm, it looks like two wins is the lost in a row here is like completely within the realm of possibility. I'm not worried at all about secret rooms anymore. Who gives a shit? Green jacket, gold jacket, who gives a shit? Range up. Pretty much completely meaningless. And let's not forget, if Doctor's Remote goes wrong... Nah, we don't want that. If Doctor's Remote goes wrong, our backup is Brimstone Sin Robes. I don't want to take number two, just a little too dangerous. Satanic Bible is uh, dysfunctional for us as far as items go as the Lost, so we'll reroll that, but pick it up first. Remote Detonator is five free bombs, which basically pays for all of the uh, rerolling we've done so far. And actually could be good for us, but there's no way we're getting rid of... Uh, Doctor's Remote. Explosivo, Brimstone, I don't think does anything for us. The she uh, the scissors we should have picked up, I guess. SMB Superfan, I will pick up for the, the small statistical increase in every category except HP because we're the lost. Uh, I think that that's, that's justifiable. Is it as amazing as it could be? No, certainly not. But uh, it, it's there's nothing wrong with it. I think. Found a second secret room inside of our shop. There's the Bible. You know what? I'll pay three cents for the Bible to never have to see it again. And I'll pay five cents for a second copy of the Tower Card. Ooh, fantastic. Ooh, that's some good shit right there. Right there. Okay. It's actually not some good shit right there. It's a waste of our freaking time. But don't think twice. It's all right. Let's see if maybe this is our direction to go. Or if this is just a waste of our precious time as well. Either way, um... Waste of our precious time or not, we're going to have lots of precious time to go around because of the fact that, uh, well, we're going to be clearing rooms real freaking quickly. It's a big uh, boss fight here. It's been a while, actually, since we've had one of these. Uh, I worry about it ever so slightly, but it, actually, Larry Jr. should just get shit on. Yeah, that was beautiful. I don't mean he should get shit on, like, in his home life unless he's into that. I just mean... We should be able to shit on him here. Maw of the Void is a damage up, makes our life better. Betrayal, uh, functionally does nothing for us. It's only when you play as the Lost you realize how many, uh, lost items, or how many items as the Lost are just completely worthless for you. But man, oh man. This, uh, Doctor's Remote Synergy is, is too good. And I'm really glad I went through with it here, because we got, uh, Cricket's Head. Now, of course... I did, unfortunately, fuck up my doctor's remote usage, but I think it's going to be irrelevant and we're going to get out of this just fine. As always, the chance for death does exist as a result of the fact that we're, you know, we're a human being. And if we get hit twice, we lose, including if we hit ourselves, which can totally happen. Uh, in that situation, for example, it would not be unfathomable, but... Uh, this is a really, really good start. I, I feel comfortable saying that we're almost, in a way, on cruise control for lost victories right now. Uh, for this lost victory, at least. Uh, but not every run is going to start with, essentially, Sad Bomb's Brimstone Epic Fetus, which is what we're <laughs> rolling with right now. I can't even say it with a straight face, because it, it just feels like it's dishonest. Like, this run is so good, I have to apologize. Look at that damage, man. Well, um, I should try to take a learning lesson out of this for further Isaac play. And that learning lesson is honestly, uh, don't ever shit on Doctor's Remote. 
you never know what kind of impact it might have. I don't know how many times I've had Brimstone Doctor's Remote. Probably more than is not embarrassing. Enough to be embarrassed by the fact that I forgot that it actually gives you this synergy. But, uh, yeah, Samson's Chain might be okay. Might activate bombs that could kill us, but it might be okay. Uh, so, I, I just try to remember it next time, I guess, is what I'm trying to tell myself here. Uh, we've frozen him. Thank you, Battery Baby. And we've killed him, even though we missed with Doctor's Remote. There's a lot of strength in that. Magic Mush is also wonderful. I don't know how many damage multipliers we can get, but the stats up is positive regardless. Alright, Dank Depths 1. Let's come in here, drop this down. Uh, it, it got a few. Enough that I can be proud. Lover's card. Let's look for a teleport card. Get us three. Yeah, there we go. Joker's good. So we're going to use that to get uh, into boss rush and snag an item for free. It's weird. I'm so used to using Brimstone, like, by charging it up every single room uh, and then walking into the next room and just shitting on enemies. But actually, I think it's the right call to exactly not do that here. Instead, we want to walk in without a full charge, immediately use Doctor's Remote, and just destroy whatever has the, you know, misfortune of being our enemy for the day. And, uh, then if we have to, we can use our piddly little brimstone laser that only shoots in one direction to, uh, to finish off the kind of riffraff and detritus that we've created, but... It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, also, our rate of fire is amazing. I'll take guillotine for lower tier delay, but I... <laughs> sure, yeah. I am also conscious of the fact that by taking quad shot and by taking guillotine, uh, I am potentially playing with fire here. But it has made Doctor's Remote quite a, a show-off. Um, and this is me, in a nutshell here. Help, how did I get into this great big bloody nutshell dot JPEG, of course. But um, wh who's content with a guaranteed win? Put your hands down. That was a rhetorical question. Um, we, I'm interested in I'm interested in the weirdness that we can get out of Isaac here, and and this is certainly good and weird, and I like that. Uh, I think all bosses, including like Mega Satan, well Mega Satan obviously has two phases, but I think that all bosses, including one phase of Mega Satan, would be killed by a single Doctor's remote shot. Now, we can also, if we're playing intelligently. I didn't want to deal with any turrets there. Um, spread out our lasers, and as a result, get much greater coverage of the entire room. Speed down. Not that bad. We've had enough speed ups that uh, this is not a problem. Okay, we did find our second secret room. Takes forever to charge, man. Here we go. Mob the Void is also a good damage dealer in that vein. Good stuff. Um, okay, pills. One makes you larger, not interested. I know it might not affect our hitbox, but it is going to make us huge here. Range ups, effectively worth nothing. Retrovision is worse than bad. War is dead. As long as we don't hit ourselves with like two of those lasers or two of those doctor's remotes, which is actually completely like plausible, um, we should be very much good to go here. We're already on the depths to 11 minutes in. Sorry, dog. I didn't want to have to do it. Please, Hammer, don't hurt him. Uh, the range up is nice, though. If we ever get, like, Libra or something. Well, that was just a, an extreme waste of time. I don't feel good about myself after that. Luckily, we're back on with our Doctor's Remote Economy. We have to do this. You never know what that card may or may not be. At least we got one Monstro killed there. I don't think it really matters whether we take Emperor or Joker. I mean, they both don't let us get out of the um, the boss room itself. Just the boss trap room. Uh, you know, I'll just use regular bombs for this. So I sort of feel like, why why wouldn't we take the Joker for the extra deal with the Devil Chance? Oh, a disheveled room. Apparently, it does still give you a small chance at a Crawl Space slash Black Market. So, I mean, it didn't that time, but apparently it gives you the chance. And, you know, that's the, that's the danger with chances. You get yourself tricked into thinking it's a sure thing or something. Uh, I should be using Doctor's Remote more. It's just, like, it's it's an old habit, man. What? Where did my... Where did my Holy Mantle go? You know, I'm gonna stack up an Isaac run on the end of that. 
because I need to decompress. First off, that was like 12 minutes. Secondly, I need to decompress because what the hell just happened? 3F0SF... 3F0SSW4P. Um, what, what the hell just happened? I'm not gonna say that was not sloppy, but I'm actually dumbfounded right now. Did I take guillotine, get hit by something without noticing as a result of guillotine, and then the, the shot that I thought was the first one to hit us did lethal damage? If so, um, well, you know what? I, I can forgive myself. I can find it in my heart to forgive myself because it's not that big of a deal. But that should have been an automatic win. Uh, if anything, I'm, I'm not embarrassed so much as just befuddled. What the heck happened? I don't remember getting hit for the first time. Don't confuse that with me saying, I don't think I got hit twice. No, no, no. I recognize the, the game is usually relatively infallible when it comes to stuff like that. I just, I didn't recall. I didn't, I was not cognizant of the fact that I got hit that first time, I guess. Um, as I watched my soul leave my body there, I, I felt my soul leave my body there as well. We're just going to do an Isaac run, like I said, as a palate cleanser. And also, you know, not treat this as part of a loss streak. Just fit in another run here to feel better about ourselves and, and hopefully get some non-lost play in. Well, okay. What's done is done. We've had our slice of digital pickled ginger. Let's keep it moving here. I'm, I'm disappointed. Don't get me wrong on that one. Like, that should have been an easy second win, but... Uh, Sometimes life uh, finds a way, and we're gonna need to persevere here. I love, by the way, the uh, speedball pickup. Used to think speedball was not worth very much at all. It got a buff indirectly from the spun pickup, uh, but also, I like it. I mean, I, I, I'm coming to the conclusion that speed is such a valuable stat up to a certain point that uh, I'm never gonna turn on my nose at it. Even though I said we've, we've had a palate cleanser, I don't know, man. It's still, it's haunting me. Madness imprisoning me. All that I see. Absolute savings. Wait, is it? I'm mixing Master of Puppets with the picture of James Hetfield shopping on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. I think so. That's okay. I mean, he's he's a celebrity. He can shop on Rodeo Drive. That doesn't make him uh, any less metal to shop on Rodeo Drive, you know? If I take a ride in a Formula One car, that doesn't make me a that doesn't make me a race car driver, does it? I don't know what I'm trying to say. If I said I was a pizza cook, you'd agree. Now, let's uh, let's just have fun on this run. I mean, we were having fun on the last one. We can't possibly hit those heights again, but let's just have fun on this one. We know we're probably going to get a deal with the devil as a result of that spirit heart, which is a huge load off of my shoulders. Uh, it is. It's a bit different to not have access to a guaranteed deal with the devil. You know, there's there's damage we can take, but it is nice this way. Um, I'm going to take the D4. And then we're going to reroll ourselves. And then we got Magic Mush and Homing Bombs. And everybody who naysayed that D4 roll is all of a sudden looking pretty fucking silly right now, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Look at that! We went from speedball to double damage. The other beauty of that is that we have, um, we still have speedball implicitly. Which is to say we can still get spun if we just get two more syringes. And we can D4 ourselves into syringes. Now, it's time for the Northern Lion, you know, X commandments, because I don't know how many I'm going to say, of the D4. There's really only a few commandments. Thou shalt reroll uh, as often as possible. Number two. Thou, thou shalt also have... The caveat of not having to reroll as often as possible if there's reason to, to believe that the next run will be worse or if the existing run is amazing or hilarious thou shalt not write commandments that were not cleared in advance of the saying of them because they come out as inelegant you know there's a few of them no deal with the devil precedent very unfortunate blue cap pretty sweet and also i guess contributes to the fungus transformation which is uh, as, as close to a worthless transformation as you could get were there not another transformation of the game that is even worse. <clears throat> I don't know what... I, I was thinking of which one to put there. I guess I would say the mom transformation is usually worse. But maybe it also gives you some statistical improvement I'm unaware of. 
it is plausible. Now, are we gonna reroll here? Yes! We got Proptosis and Two Familiars. It's actually real good. Uh, unfortunately, we're kind of running down these great uh, items on our rerolls before they actually have a chance to be super meaningful for us. So, really, this is just a nice opportunity to, to have to not struggle very much in the early game, but we may struggle proportionately more in the late game as a result of the fact that we're picking all these up in the early game, you know? Now we have Bomber Boy and Sworn Protector and Evil Eye. And pretty poor damage, honestly. Okay, we have to get further away than that, even. Sworn Protector would be so much better if it just lasted longer than one room. I like it, but it's it's just not that good. I do think I might squander what little deal with the devil chance I already had here. Help. Um, we, we can take two hits. Okay, so we're trying to... First off, put myself back on commentary track here. What are you talking about now that your run sucks? Well... I want to go to the curse room, because then we can get guppy items. The guppy items can be re-rolled, but still count towards our progress. That's that's valuable. That's noble. That's a noble cause. Haven't been to our item room yet, so let's not open that. Uh, or shop, if that becomes more uh, viable for us, which it is not right now, but could be in the future. Um, so, to that endeavor, or endeavoring to that point, I'm mostly trying to get to a full charge here, so we can just do that. Maybe just re-roll ourselves naturally here. Although I will say, I think we got a great chance to beat this boss if we use Bomber Boy effectively. Mm, the tick is interesting. That was incredibly silly of me. It's coming a little bit more down to the wire than I thought it would, but there you go. We got Betrayal, which as far as I'm concerned is really good because we're going to re-roll the shit out of it. Uh, I don't really care about, uh, about this Eternal Heart. If it stays alive, great. If it... Doesn't stay alive. Less great, but not terrible. I think going to the curse room is probably more valuable because HP is pretty easy to come by on rerolled runs. Uh, it's also possible that our next reroll will be worse, which is something that I don't really want to prepare a contingency for. I just don't want it to happen if possible. Bob's Curse, Experimental Treatment. Oh, and a fucking forget me now. A uh, fucking forget me now. Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Curse room first. Even though it cost us our eternal heart. And it ended up being a bust. Uh, I think you just gotta head down to the next floor, unfortunately. Uh, the forget me now is, is a fun item. D4 is kind of like... I think it supersedes it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, we're gonna need to go through several rooms without really taking a ton of damage here in order to facilitate uh, our next reroll. That's not going to be too easy, in my opinion. Let me just put this sparkling water over here. Yeah, I drink sparkling water. Get over it. Everyone, every time I mention sparkling water. Why would you pay for water? Doesn't the water that come out of your tap, isn't that good enough? You Have you ever paid for any beverage in your life? Sparkling water, is, it's a beverage you drink not only for nourishment, but for pleasure as well. Say we ever, why would you drink juice? It just comes out of your taps for, the water comes out of your taps for free. And then you just get some lemon peels in the garbage and put them in there. Save yourself some money. Uh, Roa Baby 2.0. Is not that good, but, you know, we, we can use it to keep ourselves out of harm's way, I guess, here. Let's wedge it back here. Now, whether or not you should be drinking, you know, juice or soda from a, a health standpoint benefit and the cost benefit analysis that's irrespective of the issue is what is in my opinion at least um, I'm just saying man occasionally I will get a, a couple of liters of Perrier I'm not a, I'm not afraid to occasionally pay 75 cents a glass for water if I if I really feel like I need that refreshment some people though they do say hey isn't uh, sparkling water like a little too bitter it I'll admit it's an acquired taste not everybody's into it um, but I, I am into it. I acquired the taste. And, uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, disappointed that I did. I'll tell you that much. Please. Pop-up video.
No battery charges. Okay, well, we got one more room. I'll go to the curse. Uh, have I been hit? I don't think I've been hit. Maybe we won't go to the curse room. I'm looking forward to this reroll, like, quite immensely, I'll tell you that much. And you will believe me, because it is completely realistic. Tech point five, sad bombs, hot bombs. Actually pretty good. Uh, let's, let's put sad bombs, hot bombs down. They don't shoot a laser, because I guess we don't have a tech laser. We have tech point five, which just goes over top of our existing tiers. It's not a great run, uh, but it, it's not horrible. I can't believe that, uh, according to the D4 right now, we only have five fucking, uh, four fucking items. That's a little damning, <laughs> honestly. We're gonna need a little bit more than that if we're gonna uh, stack up enough to get a victory here. But for right now, this is this is completely fine. We've got a pretty good deal with the devil chance here as long as we just don't get hit against the boss. And we've got a pretty good chance of not getting hit against the boss. Okay, this is good because we have hematomesis. Hematomesis can give us a bunch of red hearts on this room, so it's actually trash. Come in here, pop the magician. We have a Gertie that will not shoot, which means that we can stand wherever we freaking please and use our sad hot bombs to do as much damage as possible. No deal with the devil. Meat is fine. Um, but keep in mind, we are going to reroll it in two rooms. So let's go uh, maybe get to our curse room. If our curse room contains... Anything of value, I'll be, I'll be overjoyed. Even a spirit heart is actually very valuable for us. Okay, d disregard. Cursed Eye does not get rerolled, which is just, it's the court jester of any D4 run, but we do indeed have it now. How do I feel about it? I feel completely fine about it. We're going to get a synergy that works with it. I guarantee it as much as I statistically can, which is 0%. Okay, reroll is ready. Uh, we want Midas Touch. So let's go this way first. Then we'll take Midas Touch. I mean, even if we only get it for like a few rooms, I'm content with this. Content to try, at least. Uh, I don't really care about our shop, because again, everything gets rerolled anyway. We got two different forms of technology here, apparently. No, that's bullshit. I saw us shooting two lasers. Now you're making a liar out of me. No invincibility, but whatever. It's down to the next floor. This is a hell of a palate cleanser now. I, I haven't thought about that horrible lost loss in uh, at least seconds here. And we are about two minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush. Boss Rush can be uh, the kiss of death, or it can be an awesome way to actually get a reroll into a good run if the run you have when you go to Boss Rush sucks, because you can generate a lot of charges on it. But uh, we're probably less interested in generating charges than we are just not dying. And also not breakfasting ourselves, which is always a genuine concern. Please. Man, this Tech 2 is a real fucking bummer. So I really don't want to do this room. Uh, the good news is I have a great excuse not to because we have like no keys. Or at least not enough to feel great about our chances there. Chances to get something good, that is. And honestly, our chances not for survival, but for... Uh, maybe losing or keeping some some spirit hearts are probably pretty low given that our damage is so freaking bad <laughs> I have to kill four enemies on this room, so It's actually like pretty lenient and then relatively soon. We'll be able to finagle a reroll out of this We'll have to say goodbye to Midas's touch, but you know you take the good with the bad Hematomesis could be good, but I think we we now start looking for teleport cards if possible. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend placing it there, but to be honest with you, getting three is actually pretty good. Uh, Mongo baby, Mongo baby is worth picking and then rerolling. I think it's it's probably just worth taking, but it is not a horrible idea to kind of bet the farm on gambling it into something better. I think. Okay, this is perfect. Maybe even a battery charge out of one of these guys. Nope. Uh, let's reroll then. Are we ready? We got Death's Touch and the Soul. Fate's Reward. Uh, Sack Dagger. It at least seems like a functional run for this floor. Which is all I could really ask for. Golden Keys. We could do that boss trap room now, but... Kind of feel like with Curse of the Lost, I hate backtracking. So maybe we just won't instead. The Bible... 
Justice is pretty okay. Every key we get is a key saved at this point. Oh, don't stand there. You know the police song, Please Don't Stand So Close To Me? Do you know the police song, Go Put your hands behind your back! Get out of the car! I've never heard that one either. I wonder what percentage of people go through their whole lives without having a single interaction with a police officer. I'm not saying I'm one of them. I'm just saying there has to be like... Like 5% of people have never been arrested, never gotten a ticket, never been pulled over, never had their house robbed and like had to give a police report or something like that. I'm not, I'm not saying there's any shame in having done any of those things. I'm just saying there's gotta be a percentage of the population that has just never interacted with a police officer and and never will, even up to the point of their death. You think? Certainly not everybody, statistically speaking, could have had to have been forced to talk to a cop. I don't know. You a fucking cop? That should be spun. Oh, this is where it starts popping off, man. It's spun. Incubus is amazing. And then we'll reroll everything. Now we get Seraphim. We also have Mom's Knife, Cricket's Body, Homing Tears number two. All right. This is where it starts to get good. We may want to stop and tell you, baby. But no, seriously, we may want to stop rerolling soon. But uh, I'm not going to stop on Mom's Knife because it's just too easy. Like, not to be cocky about this because we saw where that got us on that lost run. But, uh, help. Um, but it's just a little too easy. So we'll, we'll keep rerolling until we get something that's at least, like, dysfunctional in a way that still probably allows us to win. And a good way to facilitate that will be via that. We got conjoined. Isaac's heart. Um, we're a lot slower. This seems powerful, though. But the Isaac's heart drop is obviously, like, pretty fucking bad. Is it being protected by something? It's being protected by Gemini, but I don't know if that actually does anything for it. I think we're at the point where we can start to steamroll because we're getting new items so regularly regardless that um, we don't need to stop for bosses. Or sorry, we don't need to stop for item rooms because we're getting so many items anyway. So let's go fight mom and we're going to see how our damage looks. It's okay. Let's try to make it even better. Like what is this now? We got like some parasite or cricket's body dead eye Dorito tears. Seems fun. This is definitely Parasite, because of the Parasite on our head. Um, is it is it fun enough to stop forever? I don't know. Strange Attractor, by the way. Very tempting, but also, you know, tempting is not always good. Like Elizabeth Hurley in Bedazzled. Tempting, but also like she's the devil, you know? And that's kind of the plot of the whole movie, if I'm being honest. I don't want to spoil it for you. Very formative movie in every... Uh, Everybody's life if they went through, uh, you know, puberty between the ages or between the years of uh, 1999 and 2004 However, you know, there's there's lessons to be learned in that movie. I Think I don't know. I don't remember why lots of pausing um, Let's reroll again this runs just not I mean as much as I love the parasite this runs just not Cool enough. I hate to say it. I don't mean to be insulting we want a bad boy here, and this is this is not a bad boy. Beelzebub is pretty good. This is like almost exactly the same run. Yeah, it might even be a little less exciting. I mean, I love having an attack fly. I rail against boring items, and then I'll be like, yeah, you know what? Attack fly, that shit's my jam. But to be honest with you, I really, really like it, and I find it a fun item to use. Wow, the tractor beam pull is too strong, apparently. Um, this is just not good enough to be excited about either. Doesn't mean it's bad, just not not good enough. Uh, we may have just lost Deal with the Devil precedent. I don't know if that heart was filled by anything other than an eternal heart, so it's possible we have, possible we haven't. But I, I would operate under the assumption we are not going to get a Deal with the Devil here. And that's okay. I'm telling you, I, I say this every time I get the D4 or the D100. It is a net positive to use the D4 and D100. People act like it's this zany thing that, oh, nor I, look, I love that you're giving me credit, even if I don't deserve it, but people are always like, Northern Lion's not afraid to reroll his run with the D4 or D100. It's because it's good! And I, there, there's like a, an anecdotal history of runs that I feel backs that up. You know, I don't know if anybody's ever done any statistical analysis on it, but I really feel like it, 
you almost can't end up with a shitty run because you get the choice in the matter. If it was just one reroll, yeah, dice rooms fuck you up all the time. Um, but if you get unlimited rerolls, he's a funny guy. If you get unlimited rerolls effectively until you breakfast yourself, you're probably going to end up with something half decent, which is where we're at right now, I think, with technology number one. Number one definitely compensates for the big negative of technology. We also have Pyromaniac, which is, uh, well, with enough bombs, basically makes any run unlosable. I think our HP is good, too. And I'm taking some stupid damage, I'll admit. I'm getting in close to enemies and then not dodge rolling out of the way because this isn't Enter the Gungeon, but... I, uh... Should just stay... Keep my distance, I guess. Spawning some spiders on occasion. Will we reroll this run? Yes. Yes, we will. I can't see why I wouldn't. It's just, uh... I mean, it's advantageous for us at this point, unless we have a run that we're really attached to. We're probably still reasonably far away from breakf breakfasting ourselves. The real, like, death knell for uh, a run like this is Epic Fetus, which we do not have. We have Marked. Uh, and that's not to say that Epic Fetus is even a bad pickup. Epic Fetus is just the pickup that lets you know, hey, numb nuts, uh, stop re-rolling, you're getting close to breakfast. So, as of right now, we, uh, we're still reasonably far away. So, actually, because I hate Marked a whole hell of a lot... I'm going to uh, probably choose to reroll. I also feel like this run is not that incredible that it warrants an explanation. Halo, Dunce Cap, Monstro's Lung. Oh, dude, I don't know. <laughs> this doesn't seem that good either. <laughs> no, this is this is very bad. This is very bad indeed. This is almost uh, bomb your way through rooms territory. The only reason I'm not going to do that is because every room we bomb our way through is, you know, another charge that we don't get for the D4. So if we can do these big rooms here, saves me some heartache, I think. But this is, this is pretty bad. Also takes fucking forever to get the shot charged. Uh, I really don't want to fight Mom's heart like this. Will we be forced to? It's... it's possible. I also love D4 slash D100 slash missing no whatever runs. Because you get a lot of opportunities to, uh, to see different runs and be like, Oh, fuck. Thank God the average run isn't like this. Two extra HP is nice here. I don't think we're at much risk of death. Like, we should be near full HP because that's just how, uh, these tend to work. Let's not fuck it up with hematemesis. Um... But I, I could definitely be wrong. Burkano is fine. Two more rooms. That's that's within the realm of reason that we could maintain our sanity until we get another reroll. This guy could even drop a battery charge, which at this point we would use for uh, protecting ourselves from a shitty reroll. But that's okay. We didn't get one, so we're gonna. Just operate under the assumption that it's it's probably unlikely that we'll get a run that's as horrifying as the one that we have right now. This one seems to have some crickets head action, tractor beam, rubber cement, no charge shots, lots of damage. I mean, this is, this is a run that is good, but also, again, kind of boring. So, I like it, and I, I guess I should be very grateful, but at the same time, I'm not because I'm entitled, I guess... We gotta be getting close to the threshold of where rerolls are no longer good, though. And that's what scares me. I mean, we should just steamroll it lives. It's gonna take getting through this first wave. It's not one of those runs where we just walk in and, and Mom's heart dies right away. Why bounce shots off the back wall? Hey, why not bounce shots off the back wall? A trick shot Mom's heart victory is way more exciting than just a regular old Mom's heart victory. I'm gonna head up to the cathedral. On said cathedral. Are we going to reroll? That's a fantastic question. I think I will. Again, we don't have death or not death's touch. We don't have um Dr. Fetus yet. So I don't think we're close to breakfast. I mean I think we're close, but I don't think we're that close. But I, I will admit we've had this item since the second floor. So I I must be getting fairly close. I've 
spent a lot of battery charges on it too. There's our mom transformation. The wafer is not really that cool. But we do have the mulligan. I think at this point we should say, you know what? Like, just roll with this for one floor. Although the damage kind of sucks. Like, the damage is actually worse than our last run. Uh, than our last roll, I guess. But the wafer is amazing. So, yeah, I mean, okay. Why don't we just go with this until the Isaac fight? And then on the Isaac fight, we can re-roll into something else. And then if it sucks, we're completely fucked. Because we, like, screwed ourselves on a boss fight. But... It just seems kind of like it's diluted right now. But uh, against uh, enemies that are not bosses, our damage should be decent. As you can see right here. More bombs. Not really useful. God's Flesh. About once every 200 times, actually, I end up using it the way it's meant to be used. Let's throw some bombs in here. You don't want to be at this stage of the game. Like, bombs are the most valuable thing for you, but... We also got our mom transformation, thank god. And by thank god, I mean what the hell does it do except give us a knife. More HP. Which, again, we might as well take. Because we have the wafer. So all HP is created equal for us. Bad damage, but the damage we did on contact was probably actually maybe worth the damage we took there. Obviously not ideally, strategically, but... It has saved me a little bit of time, and in the process, a little sanity as well. Uh, every room at this point is Monstro 2, so just prepare yourself. Now we need to get uh, Monstro 2 while holding Monstro's Tooth. And maybe get a car battery so that after you use it, you get Monstro's Tooth, Monstro's Tooth. But two Monstro's Tooths for Monstro 2 might be a little too much for Monstro 2. And Monstro's Tooth. Please. Thank you, Fly. Okay, it's reroll time. Save me from this nothing I've become. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> it's not really that good. Um, I know we had a battery charge back there too. I'm just, I'm saving that. I'm pretending that doesn't exist. It's like a, our emergency savings account. That, you don't use that to buy an HTC Vive. You use that, you know, when your house burns down in a fucking fire. So, as far as I'm concerned, that, that battery charge back there doesn't exist. It will start to exist when I re-roll this run into something that is just unusable. This battery charge exists. Let's get our HTC Vive. Uh, okay, we got spider bites. This is the, the rare situation, I think, in which we have actually just spread out every useful item across multiple re-rolls and as a result never gotten anything that really excited us. This is the worst example of how fun D4 can be. Unfortunately. I, I honestly could not care less about a library at this point. Uh, is, this run is definitely good enough to beat Isaac, by the way. Like, that's, I hope, relatively obvious. We're probably going to beat Isaac with this run. We got 67 bombs. That's not worth, you know, zero. That's actually pretty valuable. Power Pill actually saved us from getting hit there. Once we go down to the next floor... Ooh. That's worthless. Once we get down to the next floor, we will also uh, get eight items right off the bat. So all we got to do is beat Isaac, get some items. If we don't like them, pick them up and they get rerolled in a second anyway. If we do like them, well, don't pick them up for a room or two, weirdly enough. Okay, defeat Isaac. We have Nod Leaf. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, you don't understand. You're supposed to walk into me. This is not going to work. What if we get close? No, this is a horrible idea. Okay. <laughs> don't ever do that. We do have um we do have a respawn. This respawn could be as Lazarus though. Oh my god, we have number 2. No, we don't. That was that was farting baby. Holy shit. Don't die here. Or I will have given you, hopefully an entertaining, but the worst played Isaac run in history. If we respawn as Dark Judas, that would actually be pretty sweet, but... Um, we're, yeah, okay, Dark Judas, Dark Judas. Dark Judas! That's not Dark Judas! You can't lose two one runs on the same run. It's just not done. It wouldn't be fun. 
especially after you picked up Spun. As soon as you start to make the rhymes, it just turned you into Rick Grimes! What a horrible series of events that have befallen us. What was I trying to do with Nod Leaf in the middle there? Oh! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Long way to go. Jeez, maybe we shouldn't be doing the Isaac run here, or the Lost runs here. I don't know. I look forward to your feedback.